Hey folks, uh, this is uh, once again yours truly, Mr. Panuka, uh, right here at uh, Panuka Farm. It's a sunny uh, day. Uh, it's summertime here uh, in Lusaka, Zambia. What I'm going to do today is just to show you um, how prolific uh, you know, English cucumber gets uh, when it's summertime. Uh, we're actually loving uh, how you know, these uh, you know, uh, you know, English cucumbers are actually blossoming. Uh, quite some very you know, lovely uh, cukes. So without wasting much of your time, let's get into it. So this is just a sample of one of the greenhouses. Uh, you can actually see um, the English you know, cucumbers hidden uh, underneath there. Uh, if you actually look at the distance, you might actually not see uh, you know, the cucumbers. So the way they always start is that um, you know, you see a lot more you know, fruits underneath there. Uh, and then as it uh, grows taller, uh, you actually see that um, you know, most of the fruits will actually be upper. You actually see uh, with the other you know greenhouse uh, that will review uh, much later so that's the thicket there but uh, the cucumbers are actually you know hidden uh, underneath there um, so you know it's not always you know easy um, you know for you to actually grow you know just straight you know cucumbers they'll be slightly bent uh, but the beauty is that we've got you know different markets for you know different you know kinds of uh, cucumbers the like straight ones and also the slight you know bent ones uh, we've got you know different markets for those that do uh, processing so yeah look at you know this ticket um, you know our greenhouses are actually raining uh, you know cucumbers at this time of the year um, it's hot and and somehow there's that uh, you know good positive correlation between the heat uh, and uh, you know productivity of uh, cucumbers. So that's just a bit of an area view, um, and then back uh, to look at um, you know the cucumbers underneath here. So um, some of these cucumbers like this one, which is quite bent, um, these uh, we supply them to you know um, some processors, but these straight ones uh, do go you know straight to some of our off takers that uh, sell them uh, in the chain stores. Um, so different markets for different you know uh, quality, um, but yeah, that's that's the how you know it goes. So you actually see now us uh, getting to the next uh, greenhouse. Um, this one is uh, in a variety called Bologna, uh, transplanted on the 7th of July, uh, 2021. So let's get to see how you know, productive this one is. And already you can actually see underneath there that uh, it's raining, uh, you know, cucumbers, quite a you know, thicket. Um, and uh, if you pip, you know, beneath the thicket, you actually see an avalanche of, uh, you know, uh, cucumbers down there. Um, this certainly is the best time, you know, of the year for us, um, summer, uh, in terms of our production of, uh, you know, English cucumbers, they always perform. Uh, but obviously also this comes uh, with, uh, you know, some, some of the diseases uh, especially, um, you know, powdery mildew, you actually get to see um, in the older uh, greenhouses. But anyway, get back to the cucumbers, you actually see it's quite plenty uh, underneath there. Um, so we actually started harvesting from, you know, uh, underneath there. And then as it grows, uh, you actually see that uh, we begin to harvest from um, the top. Um, but there's plenty uh, of cucumbers, um, you know, uh, just hiding, you know, um, behind the leaves. So this one, uh, again, is, uh, usually we supply to those that are into processing. Um, and look at this thicket. Uh, you know, you can actually hardly pass. <laughs> you know, uh, quite prolific. Uh, but also, not just in terms of vegetation, but also uh, highly uh, productive in terms of um, fruiting. So now we are in one of the you know old oldest actually at the moment uh, greenhouse. It's done almost uh, you know 14 weeks 
uh, of production. Um, there's quite a bit of you know powder mildew that has come up, um, but it still has quite you know some very decent you know uh, fruits. Um, you actually get to see that uh, quite shortly. Um, but again, this is why we love these varieties by Rags One. Um, they can actually be quite prolific, uh, even in their old uh, age. It survived the cold, but you can actually see um, we have some very good you know fruits uh, at the top. So here it's actually getting on top of the um, you know support netting. Um, so you see uh, quite some you know onslaught of powder mildew uh, building up. But of course, it's understandable. It's an old crop. Um, but I think, you know, you can actually see that it's still quite, um, you know, productive. Uh, so this is quite normal, you know, uh, process for, you know, these uh, cucumbers. Uh, as they get, you know, older, obviously they get uh, prone to quite a number of diseases. But look at those cukes, lovely. Um, you know, and uh, pretty soon, I think in a couple of weeks, uh, we should be decommissioning um, this uh, greenhouse. Um, what you don't want is, uh, you know, uh, a heavy, you know, onslaught of these diseases. Um, and then if they get out of hand, uh, then that uh, becomes a bit of an issue for the next crop. So look at some of the lovely, you know, cukes uh, still um, being produced by this very old uh, crop. Like we said, um, it's done around 14 weeks, uh, which is quite a very good uh, record. So this is just on the other side. Um, again, seeing quite some very good, um, you know, production. Um, this is what you want from, you know, a good variety. Even in its old age, uh, it should still, you know, give you some good, um, you know, fruits. Um, so I think this is what we get uh, from these Rags One uh, varieties. Excellent. And um, these are just some, you know, pictorial, uh, you know, views from our greenhouses. Uh, showing you uh, the performance uh, of our you know English cucumber uh, greenhouses. So uh, thank you so much uh, for stopping by. Uh, this is yours truly, uh, Mr. Panuka, and uh, please remember to subscribe. Bye bye.